But thank, thank you very much, and thank you for giving also me the opportunity to say a few words. Uh, indeed, I agree with what my colleagues have said. I think it's very important that we have such a strong and diverse uh, group in this parliament uh, where members from all different uh, political tendencies speak with one voice when it comes to respect for human rights and for the human rights situation in Iran and the need to support uh, the democratic alternative uh, for this, uh, or to this uh, regime. I think with the experience of um, nearly four decades of this regime, um, everyone agrees that it is, yeah, it, is, it is an evil theocracy that not only represses its own citizens, especially women, as it has been said, and younger generation who seek more freedoms, but it is also a constant threat to the region and to the rest of the world. And we can look to their interventions uh, in the neighboring Iraq and in Syria, which led to the rise of ISIS. We have also seen their secret nuclear ambitions that was revealed by the Iranian opposition in 2002, which led to compre comprehensive sanctions. And uh, we've seen the nuclear deal, which uh, still has some loopholes, as there are no inspections allowed to the military sites where the regime might pursue its uh, secret activities. We have seen after the first term of the so-called uh, moderate uh, Hassan Rouhana in office that the situation of human rights deteriorated and that number of, uh, the number of executions multiplied even compared to his predecessor uh, Ahmadinejad. Rouhani's new cabinet, as always, uh, also ha already been said, includes ministers who are on the EU's sanction lists for gross human rights violation. How is that possible? So with all these and our, ex um, and our experiences in mind, there's no doubt that time has come to give a chance to the Iranian people to achieve a democratic change. And unlike other nations in the region where there was no viable alternative uh, after despotic rulers uh, fell, which led then to chaos and to internal conflicts, in the case of Iran, we have a very well-organized and competent democratic alternative. The coalition of the National Council of Resistance under uh, Iran, under leadership of uh, uh, Mariam Rajavi, that has been uh, leading this uh, struggle for democracy for several decades. We've seen the support for Mrs. Rajavi when uh, uh, thousands of supporters gathered in Paris this summer calling for democratic change in uh, Iran. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there's no doubt in my mind that the regime, the despotic regime in Iran, like all others in history, will go sooner or later. It will go. But our task must be to help to make sure that this change happens sooner so that instead of dealing with this old despotic regime, we can invest in a future free and democratic Iran. Thank you.